We're just oh. making deal. It's, it's been an exciting year for the Hempford Boys soccer team. Since they won their first LA League championship in 14 years, through all their hard work and dedication. The victory did not come easy. It was a result of months of hard work, dedication, and shared passion for the game. They were extremely committed in the offseason. The amount of time and effort that they put into preparation for this year was really next to none in terms of the last several years for sure. Building on the dedication and hard work they showed during the offseason, the team's resilience was clear throughout the season. Their commitment and determination became defining traits, pushing them to fight until the very end. So the guys were highly motivated, extreme, extreme effort, just uh, they really never gave up. We love that mentality of just never give up, battle to the end. Uh, two years ago we were in the district final and ended up losing that match in the final nine seconds of the game. And so a lot of these guys were a part of that team and they learned just the importance of seeing it out to the, to the very end. And so I think that experience maybe carried over a little bit into this season where we were in the, you know, the last two games that we played in playoffs, the semifinal and the final were both won in overtime. So the guys had that understanding of just how to compete right till the final minute, final seconds actually. The never give up mentality is important, but it was also about the smart preparation too. Uh, it's just a lot of smart technical training, um, getting us prepared for whoever we're playing. Um, a, lot of, a lot of recovery, making sure we're also like ready physically to play and we're not exhausted and mental preparation, simple stuff, um, keeping it simple and getting us ready for the game. Uh, often we'll play two or three games a week and so if it's a week where we play two games we would have training on Monday and then a game on Tuesday then Wednesday ends up being kind of a recovery day and also a preparation day for the following match which would be on Thursday and then Friday would be a training day again. Um, the following week usually would end up being a three game match uh, week where we would play on Monday, train on Tuesday, which is a lot of recovery work on those days, and then play again on Wednesday, and then have a recovery and training day on Thursday, and then play again on Friday. Balancing training and recovery was crucial during busy weeks, but it wasn't all about the hard work. The team also knew the importance of building connections off the field, finding times for team meals, bonfires, and even miniature golf. Yeah, we feel like that's an important part of it, is just for the guys to have connections outside of the field and off, off the pitch. Uh, we'll go out for, for a meal together, sometimes we'll go like do a team breakfast, uh, sometimes we've had bonfires, we've done some service projects as a group, uh, they've gone out for ice cream, we've played soccer tennis, miniature golf, uh, fun things that they can do as a group outside of uh, the soccer field. In the end, their success was a mix of hard work, smart preparation, and strong team bonds. Together they proved what's possible when everyone is all in. From Hemfield Happenings, I'm Connor Wedig.